Dale. Okay, uh, here we have my MATLAB. We're going to sign in in my MATLAB. Once I am in my math lab, now here I have my classes, right? So you can find your classes either like the list, as are here, right? Or you can see the classes you know in this other form if you click on this box, right? So I am looking for the Instructor Resource Center. I just scroll down all the way, and here I have my Instructor Resource Center. You know, if in your computer, you know, it's showing your classes is in a list. Anyway, you have to see here in the bottom, the Instructor Resource Center. Instructor Resource Center belongs to miscellaneous. So if I click here in miscellaneous, it don't show me Instructor Resource Center anymore. If I click back and I expand the miscellaneous, then I see here again the Instructor Resource Center. Now. I'm going to click in the Instructor Resource Center. When you click in Instructor Resource Center, it's going to ask you to sign in. You are going to sign in exactly with the same uh, with the same uh, username and password that you used to log in into my MATLAB, right? So once you're here, now you can browse, or you can just go direct to download the uh, the test gen so you are going to click in probes and service for teaching probes and service for teaching you click here and then you scroll down and you look you look for press uh, test prep and testing solutions and you click in test prep and testing solutions When you click in test spread and testing solutions, now we have this new screen. This show you, you know, some of the resources, some of the resources that my math lab have for this prepara preparation of tests. So we're gonna click in test gen. So here, one of the first options we find is test gen. So we click in learn more about test gen. Now it show me download test gen materials. So I will download the gym materials. And then here I get this screen. In this screen, you have different options. Download, tutorial, support. You will click in downloads. And then as you see here, you know, now they give me the chance, you know, to uh, download the test gem uh, desktop application. So I will click here in the left in the gem desktop applications. When I click, now I have PZ download, Mac download. In my case, what I have is a PZ with window. So I'm gonna click and download this one. Uh, it say this, if you have test gen 5.5, 6.0, or 7.5.2 already installed in your computer, you can upgrade to the latest version of test gen that is 7.6.5, you know? So what I'm going to do here is just to download in my PC, you know, my last version of test gen, or this new last version of test gen. Once it's uh, in my computer, I will say showing folder. And here is, you know, in this folder, the uh, version 7.6.5. So I will double click. I will allow the test gen to install. And now we are running the test gen. So once you do it, I am not gonna run the test gen because I already have it in my, my computer. So when you uh, run the test gen, now you will open the file you create with the old version, with this new version, and you are going then to export as a Blackboard file, and it's going to be okay. I think, uh, you know, the, the, the bank for the Blackboard. So this is how it's supposed to work. Thank you.